Educator. Hello, my dear viewer. Welcome to our lesson for today. Today, we are going to learn about agriculture. Agriculture in grade four. My name is Mr. Dominic Moher. We are going to define what compost manure is under uh, conserving our environment conserving our environment to start us off I will want you to observe the following learning outcomes by the end of this lesson one I want you to define compost manure Get the meaning of compost manure. You can use the internet or your textbook or even a dictionary to find the meaning of compost manure. Two, we are going to identify the suitable materials we are going to use for making compost manure. The suitable materials to use for making compost manure. Then finally, after this lesson, by the end of the lesson, you should be able to name two methods of making compost manure. To start us off, I will ask you the following questions. Can you name for me three types of soil? Name three types of soil. Yes, I hope you've mentioned clay, sand, and loam soil. Wow, very good. If you have named those three types of soil, then that is correct. My second question will be, from the three soils, which soil has the largest particles? Which soil has the largest particles? Yes, the soil with the largest particles is sand. Sand soil has the largest particles. Next question, which soil has the smallest particles? Which soil has the smallest particles? And the soil with the smallest particles is clay soil. Clap for yourself if you got it right. And the last question, from the three soils, which is the best soil that we use for modeling? Which is the best soil that we use for modeling? Oh yes, it is clay soil. Clay soil is the best soil we use for modeling. The ability of different soils to hold water depends on its particles. The ability of different soils to hold water depends on its particles. Therefore, we can say clay soil holds a lot of water. Clay soil holds a lot of water because 
of the size of its particles. And that's why clay soil is used for modeling. Back to our topic of today, compost manure. My dear Lana, what is compost manure? What is compost manure? You can use the internet or your school book, exercise book or textbook or even a dictionary. Look for the meaning of the word compost manure. Well, we can go through the meaning together. Compost manure is manure made from animal and plant wastes. Compost manure is manure made from animal and plant wastes that are piled up to rot. We pile up the animal and plant wastes and we allow them to rot and by then we will have formed compost manure. Let us look at uh, the different materials that we are going to require in order to make compost manure. Have you ever been to the kitchen? Good. If you walk around the kitchen, you will find some kitchen wastes. What are kitchen wastes? Can you name the plant wastes found in the kitchen? Yes, walk around. We can walk around. Take a look in the kitchen. Look at the different plant wastes that are found in the kitchen. You will realize that we have vegetable cuttings. After your parent has used the vegetables, there are those cuttings that they cut out. They are unwanted. No wonder we call them the wastes. They are unwanted. And some of the vegetable cuttings include spinach, carrots, cabbages, and many others. Those vegetable cuttings are what we call kitchen wastes. And these kitchen wastes are also called the kitchen refuse. Other kitchen wastes that you are likely to find include potato peels. When you are cooking potatoes, you peel. And those peelings from the potatoes are part of the kitchen wastes. The potato peels form part of the kitchen wastes. Other wastes include the fruit peels. The different fruits that we eat, when we peel the fruits, we must put those in a good container because we are going to require them in making a compost manure. So, fruit peels are also part of the kitchen waste or the kitchen refuse. The different fruits are the bananas, oranges, apples, and many others. Look at the picture below. Look at the picture below. It is kitchen waste that we compost at home. Are you able to pick some of the peels that we've mentioned? Yes, look at the picture. Pick some of the peels that we have mentioned. What can you see in the picture? Oh, we can see some orange peels. Ah, orange peels are the fruit peels. And that's also kitchen waste. Ah, 
there is also the carrots. We can see peels from the carrots. Peels from the carrots are also part of kitchen waste. What else can you mention? Ah, yes. We have some vegetable cuttings. We have some vegetable cuttings and those are also part of the kitchen waste. Well done. Well done, Lana. Next, we are going to look at where do we store these wastes. At home or back in school, we need a garbage collection. We need bins that we can store our garbage. Remember, it is not good to mix all garbage under one pit or under one bin. It is good to have a bin for the compost where we store the food waste. We can have another bin for the items that we can recycle. Some things like bottles, bottle tops. Those are some things that we can recycle and use them for the future. So we need bins that we can make and use for them for the garbage collection. Now let's move to other materials that we require to make compost manure. And I hope you are taking them down. Make sure you have your book and you are taking them down slowly by slowly. At the end, I will ask you to name all these materials that we use to make compost manure. The next category that we use are plant wastes. We've talked about the kitchen waste. Now we go to other plant waste that we can get. And they include dry maize or sugarcane stalks. The dry maize or sugarcane stalks. Other plant wastes include dry leaves. You should not burn the leaves, but instead store them because they rot easily and we can make compost manure. We can also use dry grass cuttings. Dry grass cuttings and maize cobs. So the dry maize or sugarcane stalks, the dry leaves, the dry grass cuttings, and the maize cobs are part of the plant wastes that we should not throw away, but instead store them well. Do you know why you want to store them well? Ah, exactly, because we are going to make compost manure. And remember, we are using the word dry so that we can allow them to rot easily.